Hello everybody and welcome back to Popcraft with Pop-Tart. Uh, today I am going to work on my bass a little bit. Um, like I said, uh, maybe I think it was last episode or the episode before that, but I'm gonna I'm gonna work on the top. Now we mined out a bunch of stuff. We have a buttload of cobblestone, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring a bunch of that over here and smelt it down to stone and make that kind of stone. The stones. Uh, stone bricks and I'm gonna build up on the top and I'm gonna make it look really awesome and I got a few ideas I don't know how well they're gonna work I might have to switch out the wood but we shall see so I'm gonna get to it and I will be back with a progress update in a little bit I have been busy you can, uh, that's that's fast watch house obviously that's not mine but I I've created somewhat of a masterpiece when it comes to my level of Minecraft stuffs. I probably could have put that better. Anyway, I did this. Look at it. Look at it. It's pretty. I like it. Yeah, I'm gonna move my bridge. I'm gonna build this out a little bit so it's kind of more like wider. And so the bridge kind of lines up with the front of my house there. I might even connect the bridge to the house. Still deciding on whether or not I'm going to do that. But also it's not, it's not finished. I will, I will show you. I had to scaffold up. It's the only way I could get a good angle. Okay. So basically it's, I built the whole front piece, those corners and whatnot. I got some lapis and some blue stained glass. As you can see, I took out the door, but with the fence, I suppose I don't really need it at the moment. Because the uh, mobs cannot actually get into my base unless they... Well, I let them. But as you can see, it's not done. There's still a lot of work to do. I just kind of wanted to get the basic design down. I don't know if I like the whole window thing on the top floor here. Maybe I can add a little more detail... Um, around them, which is kind of what I was thinking about doing, um, which I do have an idea for that, but I, I guess I shall see whether or not it's actually going to look good um, before I show it to you, but I'm going to continue to work on this. Hopefully I can get this whole top floor done in this episode, and then we'll move on to something else next episode, maybe gathering more materials, or maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll make something with redstone. I haven't decided yet, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it so I will be back in a little bit so I'm back with another quick little update Ooh. you know still can't figure out where those mobs are you can obviously hear them They're very very annoying I need to do a little bit of farming my farm is completely overgrown um, I moved my bridge over I moved it from here to here centered on my thing I did not attach it because I figured it'd be better if I left it unattached that way, you know, I could get out, go off that way, do whatever I need to do, go exploring, and then my mine is actually, I know I have one in my base, but I actually, that one I showed you in the last episode, that huge one that me and Vaswat mined out is off in that direction over by that mountain, right in between those two little things. Um, but yeah, so I added a few little details. Um, just right here above the door, I put a little, some sta um, stone slabs and stone steps. I think that looks pretty good. And then up there, I did the same thing. I just thought it would look nice, I guess. <laughs> um, I might change the side bits a little bit, maybe. Uh, I got a good idea, I think, to change that. Also, I think there might be something I change up there, but uh, that, that's all stuff for later. Um, I just kind of keep changing things as I go along. As you can see, now I have a big open open doorway and oh this just sun going down no oh, okay but I, like I said <clears throat> there's a big open doorway now you just use some some stone or um, wood wood steps and this is actually spruce wood this right here which I think looks better than just regular oak wood because it's a little darker because this is oak wood and that's spruce you can see the difference so I might also change these to spruce wood, just to get that little bit of 
you know, a little bit of difference between the wall and that because they're both oak and they kind of match. But anyway, back to what I was doing. Oh, here's my little sign. I did it. Tavern o death. Because all I do is die every time I go down there. Yay. So I finished the top, as you can see. Um, I don't know that I'm going to repeat the towers in the back. I don't know yet. I think I might, but I don't. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I will figure that out later. But you can go up these little ladders here, up onto the uh, the tower. And obviously I'm going to do some kind of barrier around the edge, so that way mobs can't just jump from here there to here. And also this is, this all this hill right here, if, if I redid these, these little um, towers in these corners back here, I would have to level all of this. And I don't know if I have that in me. That's a lot of work, and that would take a very long time. But, you never know. I plan on doing this for a while. I want to build a nice, nice, huge... That damn zombie. I want to build a nice, huge base. And, uh... I want to have a lot of, you know, a big... Nice, big spread going on. Just kind of take over everything. But right now... As you can see, there's a lot of trees. I kind of want to do something with that big dome mountain thing over there. I don't know what yet. I kind of want to carve it into something. Maybe a giant skull or something. Have skull mountain. I think that'd be pretty cool. But anyway, right now I'm kind of working on on Vasswat's little uh, base. I'm kind of I'm just I'm adding a path from my base to his. So that way we can go back and forth and he can have access to the farm without having to deal with mobs and stuff. That way we can do stuff at night between the two and get, you know, farm and... Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm going to get back to it. I'm going to work on his stairs on the front and then finish up this path and get my stuff closed back off so I don't have to deal with, deal with them anymore. So I'll be back in a little bit with another update. Alrighty, I have finished my improvements. I kind of built this land out a little bit. I need to get rid of this. This is annoying me. The sand, but I'll do that later. Um, but I kind of built this land out a little bit. It is floating over the water, but I mean, nobody's really going to see it. Um, I finished his steps. I hope he likes it. I think it looks good. It's definitely an improvement over a bunch of dirt blocks. And maybe he can improve on it. I don't know. That's up to him. That's his base. I just kind of thought it'd be kind of cool. Nice little, um, I don't know, gift, I guess, to, to improve his base. And that way he has easier access to everything. So he doesn't have to walk all the way over here, go through the gate, and then go over the bridge and all that just to get to the farm, just to get, you know, supplies and stuff. I did, I did empty all this out, but it all grew back already. I went in and chopped it chop down some cows god these guys are loud anyway um to get some leather and i made some books for my next little adventure which i'm about to head out on i am going to build i know it's floating right now it probably looks dumb but um i'm gonna build an enchanting table right here right there i think or no no right here right there i'm gonna put an enchanting table which means I need obsidian. So I'm gonna go ahead and go down into the cavern of death. And we're gonna go down into that that huge crevasse. I don't know that's what was down here last time we were on the server together. And he was mining, but I don't know exactly what he was doing. Oh god. Also I made a diamond sword, so that should help help out a little bit. Go away. No, go away. Dying. Dying. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and not look at that Enderman. So I'm going to go down. I'm going to get some of that obsidian that I found at the bottom. There's some iron. Probably use that. And uh, we're going to build a crafting table. Ooh, don't look at him. Don't look at him. Don't look at him. So, we'll be back in a bit with the progress. Hopefully I don't die. Looks like Vaswa did actually quite a bit quite bright down here that's kind of strange anyhow I will be back in a little bit we have done it 
I have 31 obsidian. I'm on my way back out of the cavern of death to sleep, I guess. Oh, it's nighttime. Well, I'm gonna sleep real quick. And once I'm done doing that, I'm gonna go upstairs and, well, I'm not gonna go upstairs. But I'm gonna craft myself a nice little enchanting table. So I'm gonna do that real quick. I will be right back once I am done. All right, this, has, this will be the last update of the of the video. Um, I built my enchanting table finally. Didn't take me that long. I don't know about me. Anyway, there it is. And I managed to enchant my pickaxe with efficiency two, diamond sword with sharpness one, and my diamond axe with efficiency two. Right now, that's all I can do. Uh, I do need to build an anvil and I need to get more leather. I have plenty of paper. And yeah, I have 21 paper, plus I still have all of this sugar cane to make plenty more paper. I just have to get more leather, which right now I'm kind of running low on cows, but I also need to go mining and get more, more materials and, and such more diamonds especially i only have three left as you can see i have all this diamond equipment and i managed to make a diamond helmet which i have not enchanted yet and i don't know why i'm gonna i'm actually gonna do that real quick but yeah so i'm gonna go I'm gonna go do some more mining hopefully i can find some more diamonds that would definitely help out a lot and also i need Again, I need more leather, and there are cows, and they, there are a lot of cows over by my um, my mine over by that mountain over there. Ooh, protection three. Oh, projectile protection. I'm breaking. Uh, to be completely honest, I don't know if that's actually any good or not. Nah, I'm still kind of new to the whole enchanting thing. That's what's taught me a little bit. I'm gonna go with this only because I have a big problem with skeletons attacking me all of the time, so I'm gonna get projectile protection on that. That is good enough for me. So, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this video here. If you liked it, hit the like button. Subscribe if you wanna see some more videos from me, and if you wanna see updates. And apparently, well, there is no apparently. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Let's go!